Jason Lawrence show is over. So we are going to be finishing up this show in a couple of weeks. The news came as a complete shock. We love doing this for Melbourne. This is the greatest city in the world. They say every cloud has a silver lining. Hey, Melbourne. Hi, Melbourne. Guess who this is? Well, Melbourne... It's Jason and Lauren. Lauren. They're back. And we're back on your radio. Our new home in 2024 is right here on Nova 100. Gonna be great, gonna be great, gonna be a good day. Jace and Lauren. They never wanted to leave you, Melbourne. Trust me, it wasn't our choice. Melbourne's fresh way to wake up. Jace and Lauren in the morning. Wake up feeling good. Start your morning the right way. No. The only way to start your day. Turn it up. It's gonna be great, gonna be great, gonna be a good day. Turn it up, Melbourne. Be so good. Well, good morning, Melbourne. Good morning, Melbourne. We're back. I don't know about you guys, but I'm exhausted and could really do with a holiday. <laughs> don't. I I clocked about three minutes of sleep last night. That was long service sleep, Gus. <laughs> Not as fun as they told me it was going to be, yeah. let me tell you. I got retirement gifts when we got fired. <laughs> yes. Do I have to return them? The gold pen. Oh, I got that too. <laughs> good morning, Melbourne. Good morning, Nova listeners. It is so bloody good to be back. Oh, we've got the band back together. We're so I'm, I'm so happy, but I'm also a bit excited, a bit nervous, a bit like I've broken out in a full body sweat and I'm not quite sure what to do with myself. How's this, Clint? Right? Do you think there's anyone out there actually listening? Hello? Hello. Hello. There's only one way to find out. I didn't out. know whether to shave this morning. Did you shave, Jace? I got up at 4.10 and did a <laughs> shave. <laughs> Yep. You got up at 4.10 and did a, like a body, a full body shave? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wanted to fly through the show quicker. Uh, I didn't want my body out. out slowing me down. You wanted to be aerodynamic. Got the Ryobi whippersnipper. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, f- oh, hang on. Lauren, give out the phone number. Don't do that to me. That's really oh, unfair. Lauren, come on. Come on. What guess is it? it. What do you think? The only phone number I know off by heart is Pizza Hut, and that ain't it. <laughs> <laughs> Could come I in handy she, later. I was just going to say, the other place where we used to work, no. Mark, she never learned that one either. No, I never learned that one, thankfully. <laughs> 13 24 10 is the number here at Nova. Save it in your phone. Uh, we'd what love is it? to. 13 20. Should I save it in my phone too? <laughs> we got a whiteboard in there. 1 3. No, no, no. No, don't say no, like that. No, we okay. say 13 24 10. 13, 24, 10. You Give got us a it. call, you Melbourne. Got it. We would love to hear from you this morning. It's not a complaints hotline, though, if you're no. not happy with what's happening here. Yeah. <laughs> Bring that brownie. <laughs> 13, 24, 10 to join us on the air. Anybody that gets on the air as well goes in the running to win Nova's first class and 50K. How's Ooh, that? Maybe I will save the number. God, where we used to work, you got a drink card and a Jetstar flight <laughs> to the Gold Coast. A Jetstar flight? <laughs> you got one. <laughs> This is bloody 50k in first class oh, flights. We feel very fancy being in here. And in all seriousness, thank you to everyone who's tuned in this morning. Um, I know I was getting messages from people saying they were getting up early to listen to the start of the show. So hopefully we haven't disappointed you thus far. Uh, for anybody who is not aware of the story, we did used to do a breakfast show on another station. Mm. Um, we got the arse at the we end of last fired. year. Um, and Would you say we got fired? Yeah. So, yeah, okay. <laughs> There's no other way trade, to say was it. it? <laughs> no, it wasn't a trade, Clint. <laughs> Um, thank you to the lovely people at Nova for having us. Yes. We have felt so welcome in this building. Yeah, we have. Like, And thanks to um, the people of Melbourne who backed us as well because there, there was a lot of angry people out there uh, and we're very grateful for that because your noise got us a new job. Yeah. And we're back. And and I'll be honest, it was very overwhelming. Yeah. Like, we, we had so many messages, so much support. There's still people like I'm trying to get back to, but... We are so glad to all still be working together. It was quite emotional driving to work this morning. I know. Um, I also didn't know how to do my morning routine, so I was running late and I was in a real flap trying to get in here. Mm. And then I was like, I'm going to get to see my boys again. Our new executive producer, who we have called The Thumb. No, um, we haven't thumbo. called him The Thumb. He looks, you have called him. He doesn't look like a everyone thumb. Everyone hold up oh, He looks thumb. a little bit like he a thumb. He does look like a thumb in a shirt. Just a little bit, doesn't um, he, Lauren? <laughs> Admit it. <laughs> No, he's very handsome thumb if he's a thumb. Hot hand. Um, <laughs> it was about 20 to 6, Clint, and the thumb's walking around going, Stop calling him that. Oh, Lauren's not here yet. Lauren's oh. and, I, and I'm like, oh, oh that's mate. normal. Yeah, that is. That is. She's actually running early. <laughs> what, what time was Thumb Man expecting me in? Can oh, I she's ask? on board. Thumb Man. <laughs> hey, um, Clint. 
<laughs> oh, don't talk the footy. You're not, eh? So can we can we just do a little peek behind the curtains? Our very yes. own Clint Stanaway, even though you're teasing me about not being here <laughs> at whatever godly hour you wanted me to be here. Clint took off and went to Sydney it's because he wanted to day. go to the footy. Well, it's... no, hang on. Let's backtrack here. It no. was a It was a work trip. It was the AFL was being launched in Sydney, so I thought... For our Nova listeners, I have to be here on the spot to report on what happened at the oh, SCG last what night. What a load of garbage, because I saw you drinking beers in the stadium with half of the Today Show crew. You're you know, just my got best a better bit. offer. The best bit was a few weeks ago. He's like, you know what, I reckon we ditched the whole AFL and follow NRL this year. Oh, oh. and the launch is in Vegas, so I can go over and cover it. I'm like, yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> so how did your Mighty Demons go last oh, night? Because I went to bed. Not great. No good? They got done. Who Mate, did they play? The Swans. <laughs> Oh, the Only Swannies. two teams up here, two options, but the, the Swans. Hasn't the whole AFL gone there, though? No. you really got your finger on the pulse no, since I retirement, don't, don't you? <laughs> I don't. Uh, Clint, the, uh, they were looking shaky in the first quarter. They started coming back, and then I went to bed at the end of the third quarter and woke up this morning and was like, what happened? Mm. Well, I left at three-quarter time, which is a cardinal sin for a footy fan. That's, I actually caught a tram. That. How's this? Even worse, low point. Caught a tram from the SCG with Tony Jones. That's how bad it got. Oh. I didn't know Sydney had trams. Yeah, or well. Tony Jones. Two, they've got them there too. <laughs> hey, uh, Christian Petrarca is back on board with us as well. Track is going to join us this morning after 8 o'clock, if he answers. Um, looking forward to that. Oh, don't get mad. Why? What? Oh, don't. What have you done? It's only, I don't, where's the clock in here? What time is it? It's <laughs> ten past six. What have you done? I got on the Venos and started sending track good luck messages and advice for the game. Well, then he definitely won't turn up this morning. You never Ooh, know. He took the advice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Great advice, Chase. Coming up next, we would love to hear from you. Have you come over to Nova with us? Oh. Give us a call. The number, Lauren? Oh, no. Not again. 13, 24, 10. Yay! Oh, guys, did you see the temp on the weekend? It's, oh, my gosh, it's going to be a scorcher. Oh. For another one. And a long weekend. Oh. How good is a Friday leading into a long weekend? How good that is... was tactical, wasn't it? <laughs> Starting, <laughs> Starting on, a, on Friday. a Friday. for a long weekend. <laughs> well, we thought we could just sneak in and no one would notice, and then we could just have a oh, few guys, Why don't we go early on a Friday? <laughs> oh, here we go, three-day long weekend. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm exhausted. Don't even get me started. I'm exhausted too. I think we both clocked up about one hour's sleep last night. Not together. We went together, but we neither of us really slept. We're anxious. Just wanted to clear just that up. Talking. That we didn't just stop talking. There's a story. <laughs> stop. There's a headline. <laughs> um, hey, uh, if you're just joining us, um, thank you very much. It is day one of our brand new breakfast show here on Nova. We would love to hear from you. 13, 20, 4, 10. Uh, what's really cool is anybody that gets on the air with us during the show goes in the running for Nova's first class and 50K. All right. Let's um, open the phone, shall we? Oh, my God. First caller on the show. This will be cool. First caller, let's go to Jackie in Geelong. Morning, Jackie. Good morning. How are you doing? We are good. Welcome to the show, Jackie. Thank you. I'm so glad you're back. Oh, not as glad as us (laughs) and and the mortgage repayments. (laughs) Um, Were you listening to us on the other station? Um, Yes, I was. Um, So it put me in a bit of a spot when you guys were done because I really wasn't going to listen to the other station. (laughs) Um, So, yeah, it was very hard for me. Oh, thanks, Jackie. Well, we've got you back now. Good the honesty. You know, my favourite bit, Clint, when we um, when we signed on to Nova and we came in for announce day, I remember like we're in this little boardroom and uh, one of the Nova executives walks in and says to Lauren, we are so happy to have you guys. And just as they said it, the alarm went on your phone and she looked down and it said mortgage repayment. She, <laughs> she goes, not as happy as I am to be. I know. That, it was like serendipity that moment. It was like I planned it. Oh, I can finally answer this call now. It's the bank call. <laughs> Alicia, uh, uh, in Mornington, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Hi. Good. Oh. Hi. Who have you got I there, Alicia? Hi, oh. This is oh. Noah. He's your biggest, littlest fan. Oh, Noah. How old are you? Four. Four? Oh, Noah. Hey, Noah, what time did you wake Mum up this morning? Oh, about quarter past five. We were a bit excited about Jason Lauren this morning. Oh. You guys were up before Lauren. <laughs> and she's on the show. Hey, Noah, do you know the phone number for Nova? Because Lauren doesn't. <laughs> no, okay. I'll tell you what, if she knew it. Oof. 
Uh, 13, 24, How 10. How cute. Four years old. Is our number. Steve in Lang Warren. I recognise that name. G'day, mate. How are you? Good, thanks, buddy. Welcome back, Jason Lauren. I'd just like to say big shout out to my daughter, Penny, who's been counting down the days to you guys are back on the air. Oh, oh Penny. Thank you. Did she get up at six o'clock to listen to us, do you think? I think she woke us up about three. Oh, <laughs> oh she was actually like genuinely excited. Did, oh, daily countdown. Oh, that's so sweet. I and- think now's a great time to put out. I think we all need to lower expectations. What do you... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? I feel like the bar's been set quite high. What do you do with yourself, Steve? You on the way to work? Yeah, about five minutes away. So, yeah, I'm a manager for a hospital chain. So. Oh, nice. Oh, well, thanks for calling, Steve, because I genuinely, this morning at like one minute to six, said to the boys, do you think anyone's actually listening? We really did. We were sitting here going, look, this is great. We've had a, you know, a lot of support online and stuff like that. Mm. But you know. D- Did they really mean it? <laughs> um, Libby is another planted caller. Morning, Libby. <laughs> We are good. good welcome Libby. to Nova. Oh, welcome back to all three of you. Jay, Lauren, and of course, we can't forget Clint. That was a little, you know, a slide at the end, and it was fantastic news. Oh. oh, yeah. We were all excited to get Clint back, actually. We thought we might have lost yeah. him for a minute there, but we got him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> were we holding out for the money? What was it going? <laughs> oh, yeah. Just sort of canvassing <laughs> Melbourne for. I thought I could throw a few more jobs on my, you know, on my to-do list. Yeah, so Tell you... us the truth, Clint. Were you actually trying to get a better offer? <laughs> no. I was always committed to you two. My voice just went up then. <laughs> no. He was just trying to get an offer. Um, <laughs> hey, uh, can we just run through your jobs for the year? Are you still going to be hosting Weekend Today? I am, yeah. Weekend Today, Saturday, Sunday, uh, 7 to 10 for those playing at home on the Nine Network. Uh, and then in with you guys, uh, Monday to Friday, which would be very, very exciting and, and Where's... doing a few shifts at nine as well during the week. Of course. Full dance wow. card. Where's like a partner and a life fit into this? Is a there partner. like a yeah, I've got Come two. On. You two. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It is like exactly. a marriage. We all fight and we don't sleep together. Um, <laughs> hey, it's just gone 19 past six. <laughs> Did I see you in some form of resort attire? A few oh, days back, Jase. My <laughs> God. Oh, Clint. So we've we've. What would you it was say some we've sort been of on like holidays? Silky number, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. We've been fun employed for a couple of months, and we we we've all taken a little time off. We all went on holidays. It's been summer. Jase has gone and bought a new, what I would describe as a resort wardrobe, where he's wearing matching it, sets of matching shorts. Or is it a crisis shorts. wardrobe? <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't bought a sports car yet, but that's coming, I'm Couldn't sure. Afford it. Um, he's, he's wearing these matching sets of late. And, he, right. He bought a silky short with a silky shirt. <laughs> Are you done, Fashion Police? <laughs> we went to. You thought you just walked out of the Davenport factory. We, uh, <laughs> Did you wear boat shoes with it? Are you done? No. We Still went to questions. our first Nova Red Room to see G Flip, and I thought oh, I'll roll out the uh, the matching set. Oh my gosh! How much crap did you cop for it? Well, someone put in one news article that uh, they should have told Jace from Nova that um, <laughs> he forgot to take off his pajamas. <laughs> the one time I don't wear a black shirt and a hat. It was ad- admittedly it was very hot that day. So you decided to wear a silk set, short and short sleeve shirt set. It now, was cute. And then he went on holidays to Fiji. Oh, Bula. Bula. So over Christmas, didn't exactly feel like holidays. We were looking for jobs, you know, um, jokes oh, aside, like, you know. Holidays every- were on hold. We had no <laughs> exactly money. Right. Exactly right. <laughs> we had no right. jobs. And then when the lovely people at Nova reached out and said, we will take you in. Um, I <laughs> we said, will adopt you. I said to my wife, Lou, hey, should we pull the kids out of school? go away for just a cheeky little week in Mm. Fiji because when we start the new job, we know it's going to be all guns blazing. Yes. So, bulla bulla, we went to Fiji. Went to the the Radisson Blue at dinner round. How Um, was it? uh, I got an ear infection because I put my head under the water near the swim-up bar and I think Jenny (gasps) pissed in the pool. So... (laughs) Because... I I kid you not, I've been on antibiotics all week. My right ear was filled with piss from the pool. I was once I was once filming um, a postcards episode over there when, as we were doing a piece to camera, the little siren went off and everyone had to evacuate the pool. Oh, no. oh not code someone, brown. So, a code brown. Someone didn't do a number one in the pool. They'd do, and then they just scoop it out and everyone gets back in the pool. No, that's well, not you know, for me. You know what I didn't like? What? <sighs> I not, mean everything because you only like being in the air conditioning at your own house. I'm not great in the heat. Oh, uh, Clint. You know, you know when you jump in a pool and it feels more like a bath? Like oh, it's it not refreshing. Hot. Oh, too hot. Oh, no wonder you got an ear infection. 
But you, oh, you're not good with that stuff. Remember, you had the inflatable spa, and your wife got a staph infection because she yes. never cleaned. It. That's because no, I always clean it. But we had a little rogue night. And I dropped a beer in it. I forgot to clean it out. Oh my god! Um, well, speaking of his holiday and it being too hot, Clint, listen to this. So he's packed up the kids, right? Let's get there. Oh, you can imagine. Quick, Lou, pack the bags. We're going on holidays. Kids were wrapped to get out of school. Get the kids out of school. We're going on holidays. Yeah. You know what he did? He called oh. me from Fiji, and he said, Lauren. I've rebooked the flights. I'm coming home early. I was like, what's happened? And he well, goes, the ear infection. No, he goes, pink eye. It's too hot. Oh. <laughs> it's too hot. So he packed the kids' bags. Clint, I couldn't he get booked- the room air conditioning under 26. It he, just kept getting oh, hot. As if. No, humidity was 98%. You don't know what it's like there, Lauren. He came home from his summer holiday to Fiji because he was the big boy, was too hot. His summer silk set didn't call him down. I was, the, I was the only one happy. I, I was the only one happy on the plane coming back from Fiji. Normally, it's everyone's like really excited going over, and then when we're coming back, everyone's well, the kids like, "Oh, crying, Dad, we want to stay on holiday." They were devastated. And then, did you make them go back to school, or did they still get the time off? No, back to school, absolutely. Oh. Can I say uh, thank you to the lovely people at Nova for employing us? But even more importantly, <laughs> what a week to employ us! Before a long weekend. No, no. Oh, that's what I was excited about. Before the Taylor Swift concert. Remember, they offered us tickets. Oh, you cashed in, didn't you? Oh, Oh. mate. Honestly, I was an employee for 12 hours and I was like, oh, have you got any Taylor Swift tickets? Yeah, he was in a super box with all the the head wobblers. Meanwhile, I had busted balls to get those tickets. And then off he trotted I'll tell you what, into a corporate box. I turned into the biggest Swifty after that. I was talking to like the Nova manager, right? Brendan, who's um, hired us, lovely guy. He's the one that's, you know, taken us from Centrelink and bought us here. <laughs> and he was chatting with me during the concert and I'm like, I'm sorry, Styles just started. I'm going to have to come back to this conversation. Oh, my gosh. How good was it, though? (laughs) Oh, incredible. I mean, I know we're talking about yesteryear now because that was so long ago, but we haven't been on air since then. But uh, all her fans, because she's in Singapore at the moment, are terribly worried about her health because she's got some kind of cold situation and apparently her voice was cracking during the concert well, last night. She, because she actually sings. Yeah. That's why. For three and a half hours. I went down the, the uh, whole we- rabbit hole watching all the Taylor Swift videos and the docos and everything. You know she did the whole set list uh, whole set list on a treadmill in preparation. Oh. Every day yeah, she would have run. To. I think Beyonce used to do that too. My God. I can't the even run hole, on a treadmill down. without singing. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we were just saying before the song. Should we take a look back at what's unfolded over the last couple of months? We oh, A lot has unfolded. <laughs> very proudly have a new home here at Nova 100. Yeah, and I'm so pumped, not just to be here at Nova, but that we've got the band back together. Clint, I don't know where you've been hiding. But I've been around. A I've been around, Lauren. Um, <laughs> if you got to charge his phone, yeah. we'll try to get on to it. It took a bit of arm twisting, but we got you. There, there was no way we weren't going to all do this yeah. unless we're all in. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was it was all in or none in. Well, it just feels right. Um, yeah, and I think after after a pretty testing few months um, for all of us, this is a really happy ending, but also a really happy beginning for, for, for a new start for us. For people that have come over to Nova um, from where we used to work, thank you and welcome. And yeah. for people who and sorry that we don't really know how to use anything here. <laughs> well, Jace doesn't know how to it's use. It's a bit anything. like we're on work experience. Yeah. <laughs> so it's very much like where we used to be, basically. <laughs> um, for people who are normal Nova listeners, um, and if you aren't aware of what's happened, is we used to do a breakfast show uh, on another radio station, and last year we got the boot because uh, they were bringing in Kyle and Jackie O from Sydney, and we're yep. going to network a show in. Yeah. And it sucked, to be honest. Um, yeah. We'd worked together for a couple of years. We were having so much fun. The show was, um, you know, really starting to gain some momentum. The team was amazing. And then we just had the rug pulled out from under us. Yeah. We felt like we, uh, we. I mean, there's no nice way to put the fact that we got fired. But we felt like we felt like we were just getting started in, at that moment when, I think when the rumours started swirling yeah. that maybe there was going to be a changing of the guard over there, we were like, no, and, and, surely not. And also, you know what? We're not naive. This industry, you know, it's the entertainment industry. You know, people lose their gigs all the time. Yeah, not naive, for other things. but it was unsettling, right? And, and because be, I think because we weren't spoken to about it, it was like mm. we were being spoken about, but no one spoke to that us about issue. it. So we were all a bit like, no, well, really? My issue was not that it was happening. It was how it was handled. Yeah. And not just for us, but everyone that worked on the show, everyone that worked at that station. Yeah. 
And and I think the real sting was that we were being replaced by a show that they so, were networking from Sydney, so which here's the Melbourne thing. deserves better. And I want to get your opinion on this because Lauren and I are fairly new to this caper, right? To this radio caper. We've been in the industry for a long time. You're on your second but, station now. Well, I know. <laughs> That's a sign of experience, huh? But how did it impact you, Jace? Because you've you've been here, done that for many years. It was pretty personal for me. Why? Uh, on a number of scales. Um, a, I had good friends uh, that were working behind the scenes in my management. I, I mm. knew people at the old radio station who were quite high up, and yeah, so it was it was it was pretty personal. And that cuts. And and it's it, yeah, it did. It it was a really shit feeling last year. Yeah, it really was. I think, I think I saw you in those last few weeks change your your spirit changed. It wasn't anger. No. It was just I was I was just bloody gutted. Again, I'm not naive. That's the industry. You know, people lose their gigs and move on and stuff, but it was yeah. just Do you know what? It, it was more personal for you though than the, I think Clint and I were just looking at each other like, oh, yeah, well, we're then, just on this crazy roller coaster. And that's coaster. where Jace went into protection mode and mm. he and, and credit to you mate because you really looked out for Lauren and I given we'd never experienced anything like this ever before. And I guess thank you for that, Jace, because mm. it was a really, really sort of beautiful time. And it sort of helped us get where we are right now. Yeah. Yeah, you held our hand through a lot of that when we were like, I mean, we, we come from a TV background where we've heard TV was brutal, but... Whew. Oh, it ain't brutal. <laughs> Not compared to this industry. And we'd, look, we'd always joke those swipe cards wouldn't work oh. one day. And fuck me, they didn't. <laughs> But it 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 was it was tough for all of us. I think you've got you're a dad of three with kids that you're trying to work out what school they're going to. Yeah, trying to work out you know your family is, is in Brisbane where you're going to live. But but it wasn't. And this was what upset Jay, me. Clint had just bought his first yeah. home. Like he just paid a deposit on his first house two weeks before we lost our jobs. But it wasn't. And you just bought the latest Louis. Just don't do okay, that. Okay, that's right. not funny. <laughs> and but it wasn't just us. It was. Team members had just signed yeah. rental agreements, you know, yeah. had, you know, upgraded cars and stuff. It was a really hard time. But at the same time, I've got to say, the support that we have felt since we got shafted has been Enormous. overwhelming and just overwhelming. Everyone mm. has been so bloody nice in this city. I've had random people coming up to us at the shops. Yeah. A lady the other day grabbed me in Bentley. It was like I was dying. And she goes, <laughs> good luck. You know, for Friday, oh, we're all rooting for you. So Thank nice. You. Can I say, though, that is Melbourne at its best. Isn't yeah. it? Yeah. That's that's what Melbourne has always done really well. And having lived here all my life, like you, Lauren, that screams this great city, right? Yeah. And I think to us, this is a job. We lost our jobs. But for the first time, I realised how many people lost their routine in the morning as well in this city that listened to us. And we're so grateful for those listeners who showed us support in in a time where we felt like I think we all probably hit rock bottom for a mm. couple of days there where we didn't know what we were going to do with our lives, where we were going to be, would we have jobs next year, would we be able to pay our mortgage, which, by the way, we're not the first and we won't be the last people to experience that, not in this industry, but there's a lot of people who have ridden that wave of losing yeah. their jobs recently in the current climate. Um, and I think the, the, the power of having people to support you and to remind you that just keep pushing, just keep going, you'll get there, was, was really um, reassuring for all of us. And so for those listeners who have come over to Nova to listen to us now. Uh, we're so thankful. We're so grateful. And um, for the audience at Nova who are already Nova listeners, uh, we're really grateful that you're still listening this morning yeah. too and and hopefully you stick with us for a while because we're really excited by this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've got a real appreciation for this now, which I don't think I had going back a few months ago. Yeah. And I've always valued and loved the listener, obviously, but now I value – and love the job so much more. Oh, it's great. This is the mm. best job in the world. And the fact that we get to do it with mates, it, you know, like remember that's what I was saying to you guys at the end of last year and that's why it hurt so much is because I've been doing this industry for 27 years and I'd always say to you, Loz, like it is so rare mm. to get a show where the, the hosts are absolute great mates and have each other's back is just so rare. Mm. And, and we have that and... That's why it hurt so much at the end of last year. But to be able to go into this year going, we've got a new home. Yeah. Here we go. We're not going anywhere. I said to the management here, I'll die on this station. I hate moving. No more. <laughs> 
I'm not great with change either, to be honest. So oh, hopefully they stick with us for a while. I was so scared to walk in here this <laughs> he morning. I was like every... a kid at primary school. He I was in like, the car park. Lauren, how long until you're here? And then you were running late. And I'm like, Jace, where are you? Like, walk me in. Yeah, Can't we've had some it. teething problems this morning. I'll tell you, you know to be when, fair, um, I wasn't running late. I got stuck in the car park because my car's too high for the car park here. I hit the roof and I've just left the car there. Mm. Do you know what? There's a distinct <laughs> lack of masking tape in this, um, in this studio. It's, it's really built on me. This studio is lovely, isn't it? <laughs> How's this right? Over um, uh, over the time when um, when Nova rang and, you know, like you want to play it cool, yeah. I was going through the GYG drive through What's the GYG oh, drive through Oh, because Mano Gomez. I can never say the mask, the mask. And um, I... I see. I said to the management, "They've got a drive-through." Yeah, they do. I said, "I've in never the seen a drive-through because it's, it's not a drive-through near me." No, in the burbs. And I had Nova management on the phone. I'm like, "All right, well, let me think about it." And I hung up and I came up to the window and the lady goes, "Bloody hell, I miss you, Lauren and Clint. You should come work here." <laughs> now, no, no disrespect to the people at GYG. When I got offered a job manning the drive-through, I picked up that phone and rang Nova back very quickly and said, "We are in." <laughs> they wouldn't have you on drive-through. You'd eat more than you sell. Well, You'd I think get was, fired straight away. I think they were thinking me with the radio voice using the speaker. Oh, that's very strong. Yeah, oh. they please do drive through. Good stuff discount there as well. Do they? Yeah. When maybe did you, should, you work maybe there? You should rethink it. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have called Nova back. <laughs> This is pretty cool. We are spoilt for live music here Aren't in Melbourne just? at the moment. Uh, had Taylor Swift at the start of the year, Pink about to come back, and guess who else is about to join us? Something's got a hold on me lately, though I don't know myself. Listen to that voice. We're talking about Teddy Swims. He's just announced his I've Tried Everything But Therapy Australian tour. Uh, he is coming to Margaret Court Arena on Sunday, the 13th of July. Tickets are on sale today. From 1 p.m. at frontiertouring.com. Listen to that voice, Jace. Delicious. Just having a look at your search history. Mm. Teddy swims facts. Me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, we've got first double in town. If you want to win them, 132410 is our number to win your way to Teddy here on Nova. In fact, we'd love to go to the phones and hear from you if you join us for our first show as well. I know. Thank you if you are tuning in for our first show. I don't think we've been too rusty, have oh. we, after three months off? Have we got the training wheels back out? Oh, let's make the call at nine. You know, up to date on Melbourne's Nova 100, here's Jason Lawrence. Jason Lawrence. Jason Lauren on Nova 100. Well, good morning, Melbourne. Welcome to day one of your brand new breakfast show. It is Jason Lauren, Clint in the newsroom, and the frequency is yes, 100. Did Stand you, away. Did you Nova forget where we were? 100. Look at the wall. A lot of signs. You know what my dad said to me? Oh, Bobby, Bobby Phillips. Phillips yes. Or just Bobby Phillips set his alarm for um, 5.45 this morning. Yeah. He said, love. It's really strange. In my car, I have to put it on 100.3 to get a good, clear sound. <laughs> and I was like, good on you, Dad. He goes, is it Nova 100 or Nova 100.3? I and didn't I tell said, you this, but... It's uh, a good question, Bobby. I was chatting with Bobby, your dad, the other day. No, you weren't. You know, so you I. two. Bobby. You guys are not allowed to talk without me there. Bobby Phillips is joining us after 8 o'clock this morning. No. He yes, he is. is no. He's currently at home writing down feedback on show number one. Oh, don't, as if I wasn't nervous about this already. Has he told the already. community um, about the change? Why? Remember when my dad um, went up <laughs> to his local bakery and he put a sign yeah. in the window? Yeah. yeah. I wonder. We'll have to ask him when he comes on. Yep. They call it an air check in this industry. Can't wait for that. Don't. Bobby Phillips with some feedback on the show coming up after eight well, this morning. Clint forgetting what station we're on just then. <laughs> Surely that gets a mention, Dad. Uh, it is International Women's Day and one of the queens here at Nova, Ricky Lee, is going to be joining us after 7.30 this morning. But I'll tell you what, phone lines have been lighting up all morning. Um... With people just wishing us the best, which is so, so nice. So nice. Like, if you want to join us on the air anytime, our number is 13 24 10. And if you get on the air, you go on the running for Nova's 50K. First class at 50K, oh, which yeah. would be nice. That's Should we go to the phone nice. take some calls? Why not? Let's go to Lucy and Paran. Morning, Luce. Good morning. Welcome back, guys. So happy. Oh, thank, thanks for listening, Lucy. What have you been doing for the last three months while we were on uh, extended leave? Look. I have to be honest. Uh oh. I did change station. Right. Oh. Uh, but obviously I'm back. Great. I've been Great. waiting. <laughs> yep. Yep. Um, but yeah, I can't. Oh, what are their names? Uh, 
Fifty Seven Byron, or uh, <laughs> oh, I will see the branding's Lucy. working over there. Um, well, look, thank you for coming over to Nova. We appreciate it. Thirteen twenty four ten is our number to join us on the air. Uh, let's go to Shawnee and Hoppers Crossing. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. Yeah. Oh, good how good's the Friday before a long weekend, Shawnee? <laughs> uh, it's good. It's good to hear your voices again. I've been, I've just been flicking through Instagram, looking at all your old reels and that, and it's yeah, good to listen to you more. Uh, you just pick out, you just pick out mornings up. Like I remember um, a few years ago, like I was going through a tough time, and then I just listen to you every morning. And um, yeah, I was going for real personal stuff, and then just listen to you guys. You just pick it up. It's just great. Love thank it. you, mate. Oh, thank, thank you, you Shawnee. You know what? That's the thing. Whenever we've like open up and talk t- about our personal lives or struggles that we've gone through, like yeah, honestly, <laughs> are you lonely still? You, yeah, you're, doing you're still right? feeling lonely, oh, Sydney. Sydney. Of course, I am. <laughs> um, but just the outpouring from people yeah. that relate always blows me away. So, look, today is day one of our brand new show here at Nova. Which um, we're very excited about. It's oh. um, Thank you to the team at Nova. We're very, very yeah. grateful that we are getting a second chance here. Gee, hey, um, don't this? stuff it up, Jase. How's it? Uh, Pete, the CEO, came in for day one of our first show. He came down from the Harbour City, from yeah. Sydney. And guess what else, Clint? He forgot his pass, so he sat out the front. He sat out the front of the car, listen, yes, yes. listening, listening on the app. Yeah, <laughs> oh. he couldn't get into the building. So good to know the Nova players working. CEO <laughs> tested out this morning. How nice is the facilities here at Nova? It's so lovely. nice. Everything is nice. Like everything's and- brand new. Also. Underground car park. No, see, I don't, yeah, the underground car park is great because Love Jace that. has it would have a wig out if there was any kind of rain happening because he would have straightened his hair before work and he would oh, have to walk inside no mm. and get wet. That's why he wore a hat every day. Yeah, well, the You're wind not wearing did... your hat today. No, no, you didn't recognise, you introduced yourself to me earlier. You're wearing your smartwatch again. The other day he turned up He turned up to the office in a smartwatch. But. Now, Jace has never worn a, a watch before in his life. And I said, what have you got going on your smartwatch? And Clint? Uh, it was not charged. <laughs> well, I was, it was trying an to just, I was, was accessorising. He was trying to look professional in his new job with his smart watch. <laughs> you guys a, have been exercising. And it didn't make him any smarter. Almost got a sharpie and just drew the little hands of the clock on there. <laughs> he doesn't charge it because he doesn't want that thing where it says, okay, time to stand up and start moving. <laughs> <me." laughs> Shut up. You have to not reached up. your rings. What is <laughs> Close your rings. So we have a beautiful underground car park here we so do. you can drive straight in. Uh, it's uh, just it's near the lovely. Coles on Clarendon Street in South Melbourne. How good is a car? You like your own car park. Can you describe what happened day one of you entering the Nova 100 well, car park? I'll be the first to put my hand up and say I don't like change very much. As happy as I am to be, <laughs> might do. I think I, we should embrace it. Yeah. I'm not great with change. And so having to park in a different car parking facility really, really rattled me. So I hooned in on my first day. Now, because you go... Oh, driving so much. You've got quite a large <laughs> off-road vehicle. I bought like a truck because I've got a big dog, but it's so big the dog. I'm going to have to sell the car because the dog won't jump in it because it's too high. Yeah. It's very tall, my car. So day one, in I drive. And, and it, you turn off the street and you go down a ramp to get into the car park. Yeah. And I hear this bang. Oh. And I was like, that's unusual. What's that? Where was that noise coming from? From my roof, Clint. Oh, yeah. Because I hit the thing that says, if you hit this, do not oh, enter no. this car park. Pause. There's a design. What's the pause. sign say again? Well, I don't know because I'd already gone past it. <laughs> right. But I assume <laughs> I assume that somewhere written on that big yellow bar that hangs down, it says, if you hit this, do not enter. Which this is, is a design akin to the floor. Montague Street Bridge yes, type sign. Yes, it is. Sign. Yes, it yeah, is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, and what do we do? Every time we see that in the news, we go... What oh, sort of idiot? Look at that dickhead! Yeah. What sort of idiot would hit that chain and then keep going and hit the bridge? But it's too late. They need to put it further back. You need more warning. No, they do in it. In defence of all the truck drivers Lauren. that have got stuck in the Montague Street Bridge. So I hit it, and I was like, "Well, I'm here now. I've already gone through it." <laughs> so the idea of you, the I idea didn't of want get, to reverse. Hang on, the out. idea of getting out of the car. You and imagine s- Lauren doing this, Clint. Excuse me, can everyone back up so oh, I can no. out? There was someone behind me and I was like, well, I just live here now. So I drove in and I thought, well, that thing warns you about the lowest point in the car park. And I'm like, what are the chances of the lowest point in the car park being the second you drive in? So I kept driving and I thought, I'll just get a park close to close as soon as I get in. So I 
put my big truck in one of those small car only spots because they're just they're not about height they're about width I think anyway I pulled in there and I then I came upstairs and I was like Jace we've got a problem I had to use my car to block the exit of the car park so she could just reverse because, the car out. Oh, this is to get out. Yes, yeah, because yes. oh. to get out, you've got to go through the whole car park. And I was I'm definitely going to hit the low sewerage pipe then and I'm going to be covered in God knows what. So I had to go out the in hole to get out. Mm. You had to I, what, sorry? I had to go out the in I had to get out the in hole. Just isolate that for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to need that audio grab. I had to get out the in <laughs> entrance. Yeah, right. So Jason, okay. just out of some curiosity. Management. Thank you for your support on that. I appreciate it. Just out of curiosity, if you did hit the sewage pipe. I would have got out. I Torched got, it and done an insurance job. Got in the lift and pretended nothing had happened and that was not my car <laughs> and I would have left it there for the rest of eternity. 13, 24, 10. <laughs> have you done a Lauren? Have you stupidly crashed or damaged your car? Or I more- also got stuck in the Art Centre Melbourne car park once. You did Same too. car. Um, you know how you, uh, the next day though, she didn't bring the truck. She bought the Tesla. What happened, oh. Lauren? <laughs> I crashed that too, <laughs> but I crashed the. What do you the... mean? She well, sideswiped the I was trying to turn, beam. and there was a little concrete pile on that I didn't see. Thirteen twenty four ten. <laughs> have, it came out of nowhere, Clint. Thirteen twenty four ten. Have you done a Lauren? It's not been a good week for me. How to oh. stuff the car? Have you done a Lauren? Thirteen twenty four ten. <laughs> to join us on the air, uh, Lauren Phillips, day one here at Nova. Mm. Drove the giant four wheel drive truck. That she likes to go full driving in, um, <laughs> into the car park, hit the roof, off road oh, type. Oh, that's yeah. unlucky for the first day, isn't it? Oh, those oh, thirteen twenty four ten. Someone said to me if I got if I was in real strife, someone in this building said they'd come down and let my tires down to help me get out. <laughs> no, I think. Uh, <clears throat> no. No, I think it was more of a like. I, I mean, I'm no angel when it comes to this. I tend to consistently run out of petrol. Oh, yeah, of course. That's true. Uh, so much so, I used to carry a jerry can in my in the boot of my car. Did you a full a, jerry can? A full jerry can. <laughs> But a while back, you know when your steering wheel locks, which is a common occurrence. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, How it sort of just locks. Wheel lock? It just locks, but you just have to really give it up to unlock it. When you're driving. No, no, no. When you park, when it's usually. Oh. I couldn't really, so I called the RAC for it. No, you just move it a little bit. No, you move it to the left, and it unlocks I, it. I know. Time. <laughs> How long did you wait for the, the RACV bike? <laughs> Clint, Game. Clint, did they put <laughs> up the lights? Oh, you know the lights were on. That's when so they, embarrassing. When they put up the lights, that's rough. Oh, oh, shame. <laughs> Remember when I, I was sponsored by Mazda and I took my Mazda in, I called them and I said, there's something wrong with this car. <laughs> the steering wheel is so hot constantly. And they said, that's a problem. So I bought it in for servicing and they told me I had the steering wheel heater on. I didn't even know I had a steering wheel heater. Vic- I've been driving around all summer with it. Vicky uh, on 132410. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Have you done a Lauren? Good morning. I've done two Lauren. Good on you. I bought the RACV because uh, I couldn't start my car because it turned out that it wasn't in park. It was in reverse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yep. and another one, I was travelling, working as a, a nanny backpacker over in England 30 years ago. I was given a Peugeot nanny car. Oh, And uh, fancy. took it out shopping with a girlfriend on the Saturday shopping centre, reversed into a concrete pylon and oh. uh, banged up the... Uh, the one of the panels, and my boss said, you're not insured, you've got to pay for this yourself. Oh, now, that's a bad start. at the time, 30 years ago, I made £100 a week, and I was charged £1,000 for the damage. Oh, wow. Um, so, yeah, that was, uh, I, I made a joke with your um, producer that I didn't get to go to Ibiza <laughs> that <laughs> oh, summer. That's you solid did your, your, from you. your European nannying and you ended up volunteering for 10 weeks. That stings. 13, 24, 10. Have you done a Lauren? Have you done a Lauren? Day one here on mm. our new show and in the new building here at Nova. Uh, Lauren hit the roof of the car park. Well, the car park's too low. Oh, that's that's the no, that's what she said, Clint. She walked in. We're going to have to change the car park. We're going to need to lift the building. Who designed that being so low? And also, who put that swingy thing that you hit so far into the ramp that it's too late to get out? She said that to poor John, the office manager, and then walked out. And I'm like, told you she didn't have an ego. Uh, (laughs) All right, 13, 24, 10. Um, Have you done a Lauren? How'd you stuff up the car? Feel free to dob in a partner. (laughs) Daniel from Warburton, good morning. What's happened? Uh, Morning, guys. How are we? Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. I had to blow the dust off the Nova Station, but I found it. And, uh, well, welcome. You guys. It's good, good to have you here. Good Daniel. <laughs> um, I've got a trifecta. I'm throwing the mother-in-law under the bus. 
Oh, the mother-in-law. What's she done? How does she goes? Come on. Oh, where, where does she start? All right. So they live up uh, in Alinda, um, and she started off with riding, uh, driving over the ride on lawnmower. <laughs> yep. She, uh, in her benefit, it can be foggy in mornings, and we've got deer running out there, so she may have been sidetracked and not looking. And, Hang uh, on. She drove her car it. into the ride on mower? So, no, no, not in, over it. <laughs> right, okay, yeah. <laughs> like, a, like a jump. Yeah, but could have been foggy. What was the next thing? Uh, she has flipped the camper trailer while on a around Australia trip. How so on earth the, did she do that? She's good. Oh, how the mercy she do any of it, but yep. she has. And uh, <laughs> um, the final one was the Doncaster Shopping Centre. She, The father-in-law has a nice full drive with a roof rack camper trailer. Oh, yeah. She Uh-oh. forgot... She forgot it was on there. She's gone under the underground car park <laughs> and all of a sudden she sees water thinking, why is it raining in the underground car park? She has cleaned out the whole fire sprinkler system. Uh, Imagine the anxiety well on her done. when she fills out, you know when you fill out insurance quote forms and they have to go any pre-existing claims oh, in the last two years? Oh, you just say no. No, you can't say you no. You can't no, say no. That's not what you do. Yeah, you do. No. So I've never done anything wrong in my car before in my life. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, but then... No? Oh. I think they could check. <laughs> oh. 13, 24, 10 <laughs> really? to join us on the air. We're asking Just go how... to a different insurance company, no, don't you? No, that's not okay. how it works. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go to Gian in West Footscray. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Nova, guys. Thank you, Thank mate. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Good to be here. Um, so I was driving my dad's car about a year ago. Mm-hmm. Um, and I crashed it in the Macca's drive through uh, Some of them, they, I'll tell you where they're oh, tight. All oh, right, here we go, the drive through no. connoisseur. Which, tell which me. one, Jase? Yeah, well, you know when they do the dual lane for ordering oh, into the yeah, speaker? Oh, confusing. But then you try and, like, what, get in front not? of the other car because you want to get to the meal first. So you, <laughs> Jason. Do oh, you know what? That's I not know a thing. exactly what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like no, no, no. You finished there's ordering. There's one in South Melbourne. Yes, just well, like that. And, and there's one near Elstonwick, and yeah, you look at the person next to you, and you're like, "Oh, they're almost finished." No, the only time you do that is when you're at the traffic lights entering the freeway, and you're on the ramp, the on ramp, and it goes one car at a time in each lane, and then you hoon. Well, you don't hoon. You drive very carefully, of course, but then you take off. You don't Let's do that. Take in the Jace's word through. for it. All right, die in Parkdale. Morning, die. You done a Lauren. Kia ora, guys. It's Kiwi Dai here from Parkdale. Hey, look, before I start, I would like to congratulate you on bucking the great Aussie tradition and instead of throwing a sticky before a public holiday on the Friday, mm-hmm. starting a new work gig. Well done, guys. She Thank said, you. Because she said bucking, 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 yeah, gotcha, right. bucking the, the trend. accent got me. Yep. We could have taken a sticky today and had a four-day weekend, but we've just had a four-month weekend. So yeah, we're committed, we Dai. Socks up. We're committed. All right, what happened with the car? <laughs> Go you. Hey, um, I had my mountain bike on the roof. Oh, <laughs> no. oh here we go. <laughs> you can just see where this is going, can't you? Yeah. I had my mountain bike on the roof. I had the picnic basket in the back of the car because I was putting on a post ride seat. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. So, anyway, I had the Kai in the picnic basket at the back and I drove straight with the bike on the roof. I drove straight into the signage of the supermarket. Oh. And let me tell you, I completely munted my front wheel. That's the, <laughs> that's the New Zealand word, rather. I completely munted it. It was buckled. The bike was laden sideways, but it got worse Uh-oh. because I had a row of cars behind me and I had to get out and do the reverse of shame. Oh, yeah, see, Juliana. that's what I won't do. Yeah, Just Lauren won't driving. do that. When she hit the roof, she was like, I'll torch this car before I have to get people keep to reverse. Keep driving, die. <sighs> She munted her front wheel. <laughs> and it was bucking, right? Yeah, just checking. <laughs> Good morning, Melbourne. Clint Stanaway with you. An application will be made today to lift that suppression order, allowing for the public identification of the accused murderer of Ballarat mum, Samantha Murphy. Christina Hearn from the Today Show has the latest from Ballarat. Good morning, Christine. Good morning, guys. This is just been the most horrific story to follow, Christine. Um, can, can, what's the latest update on it? Yeah, Lauren, it's just so sad because I think um, obviously the family and some in Ballarat were still holding out hope that Samantha Murphy might be alive. But yesterday we got confirmation that a man, a 22-year-old man, has been arrested and now charged with her murder. Now, all I can tell you about this 22-year-old is that he is the son of a former AFL player, but I can't tell you his name because that's been suppressed. The media will be contesting uh, that in court in Ballarat a little later this morning. Tell you what, I was on some community Facebook pages last night and there was a lot of anger about the name suppression. 
Mm. You know, people just saying they they don't deserve the right to privacy. And of course, in Victoria, we're being called the suppression capital uh, because when you compare us to another state like New South Wales, we have so many suppression orders. And, you know, uh, this is just another case, a very high profile one, but something that does happen in Victoria a lot. Chris, can I ask, was this um, was this man known to the family? Do we know that? Because so often in these cases you hear that it's, it's someone that's known to the victim or the family. Lauren, I can tell you that he was not known to Samantha. He was not known to the family. Police are alleging that he deliberately killed her when she went for a jog on the 4th of February and that she was killed in the Mount Clear area on the day that she vanished. Uh, the police commissioner was at pains to point out yesterday that the family had no involvement in her disappearance mm. whatsoever. This 22-year-old man that's in custody, however, I can tell you it is understood, he was on the radar of police for some time before he was taken into mm. custody on Wednesday Wednesday morning. And you do feel for the family in this case, given the rumour mill and the speculation, well, yeah, the, the intrigue that has been so rife for so long. Also, the police came out only a week or so ago and said everyone that knows her is a under a question, yeah, a person of interest, which, yeah, you're right, just oh. cast a massive cloud over everyone. Oh, such a terrible story. Um, hey, thanks very much for your time this morning, Christine. Hey, thanks, guys. Great to have you back. Wish I was speaking to you under better circumstances, but good to hear you on the radio again. Thank you. Thanks, Christine. <laughs> Ricky Lee on the air right across Melbourne. It is Jace and Lauren Clint in the newsroom. Uh, we're on the air for What If. It is Aussie for Travel and International Women's Day, and she's taken out... The number one <laughs> album on iTunes uh, officially this good. morning. Oh my gosh, you guys! Oh, look at me. Ricky First of Lee. all, welcome. This is so exciting. Oh, thank you. We're very excited to be here, and we will get to that shortly because we're going to need some tips and some advice on how oh, to survive yeah. this company and not get uh, get the boot as quickly as we did last time. <laughs> well, I, I did see. I got a, a photo from Joel yesterday. Um, you guys have booted me from prime position when you walk out of the lifts. Oh, um, when uh-huh. you walk out of the lifts at Nova Melbourne, yeah. there was just a giant. Um, let's say, uh, a mural of my oh. boozies. Oh, oh, yes, yeah. you're in the black dress with yes. the very yeah. most... Yeah. I love that neither. photo. So, yeah. Not at all. So I would, So people would always, every time they came into Nova, they would they would stand next to my boobs and yes. <laughs> take, me, take photos. So and whose send boobs them. is it but now? It's all, is it yours, Jace? It's, all yeah, it's mine. <laughs> Jace's boobs. How's this, right? They've put up new photos, and I yeah. kid you not, we were walking out yesterday, um, and your executive producer, the thumb and I, and we're walking out, and there was a tradie there. And the thumb goes, Oh, look, your new photos are up. And the tradie looks at the photos and looks at me and goes, That's not you. Oh. <laughs> Did they do a good airbrush on Great you? Airbrush. Great airbrush. Everything's <laughs> improved, even the airbrushing. Paris filter all the way. Yeah, we don't mind a bit of a filter in here, I do we, Jay? Now, um, hey, talk me through this morning. Did you wake up, hit iTunes? Were you just over I did. the moon? Well, so I, I, I really, really should have gone to bed last night and I tried really hard. I was doing all the things. I had some red wine. I was trying to wind down. I turned the lights down. I was treating myself my husband was treating me like a baby and <laughs> put the white noise on great wind down <laughs> and, hour wind down hour but i just couldn't sleep i was too excited i waited to watch it all turn over at midnight <sighs> and then i i was like okay cool it's all out it's amazing people are writing to me and i was writing after back that? Well, I, I somehow managed to because the wine down worked and the white the wine noise is wonderful. Down. The wine down. Yeah, right. <laughs> but then I woke up to go to the bathroom at like 3 a.m. Oh, just a quick check on the iPhone. And, and then, I shouldn't have done it. And nah. I looked at my phone and then I saw that the album was number one. And then how am I supposed to go to sleep after that? Yeah, yes, so I haven't queen. I've had like an hour and a half sleep and that's it. And I don't care because this is the best day of my whole life. How oh, good. How exciting. I can't believe it's been 10 years since you dropped an album. Is I that know. true? Yeah. So the last album I released was in 2014. But I've been trying to, like, I moved to the US in 2015 and I worked mm. on an album over there for two years. And then the record label were just like, was not were you on like the same other page. Aussie? Were you waiting tables at the same time? No or? way. I was in the studio every single day. Yeah, wow. Right. And and I was coming back to Australia and, and doing gigs, and then I'd go back to the US, and it was it was quite and you've a had wild a bit time. On back here as well, right? Quite She's a bit busy. On. Yeah, She's still an idol as well. Gal. 
Oh, well, I mean, um, they do two hours in the afternoon. I mean, it's oh. <laughs> hey, I'm I'm actually there before anyone else. I'm there in the mornings because I've got to have you know this face takes a long time to make look good. So I'm there for like three hours before with hair and makeup. Then we do dress rehearsals and then we do a full run and then we go through the scripts and then we do bit the like shows. Us, I'm there guys. all day. A bit like us. Yeah, yeah. Lauren got here at ten to six. <laughs> Don't. That's mean. It's my first day. I didn't know how long it would take on the new route to the new job. But I got here before six, and that's all that matters, Chase. You were there. You were there before the show yeah. started. That hey, is all that matters. Ricky Lee, the new song, I mean, I Was Made For Loving You, it is such a banger. We've all been dancing along in the studio this morning. How does something like this come about when you're doing a, such a well-known song that you're making your own? Well, I, I actually didn't intend to to use the Kiss song. It just kind of happened organically in the we studio. Don't say that so, word on yeah, this that's show. a bad word. That's a we dirty went, word. Oh, no, 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 but that's the band. I mean the band. Cancel. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Gotcha. Yep, yeah, right. The band. Um, how do I say that? How do you guys um, feel? How, how do I crying. use the band name without saying the word? <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, we'll just say I was made for loving you. You, yeah, know, gotcha. you know what yep. I mean. Yep. We all get it. Yeah. Um, so I we went in and I was actually f- having a pretty bad day yeah, and I was feeling uh, uh, not so great and all I wanted was to write a song that was going to lift me up and I wanted to write just this fun anthemic, euphoric, feel good song just the complete opposite of what I was feeling on the day and we started playing around with some chords, we wrote the verse we wrote the pre-chorus and we were like oh this is fun and then we jumped up into the chorus and someone started singing I was made for loving you baby over the chords and generally when that happens it's a Big red flag. You like run a- as far away from that as possible because that is a like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's a lawsuit. Yeah. yeah, that's a lawsuit right there. So you jump off it. But in that particular moment, we just kind of went, oh, this works and it feels good and it feels right. And it's one of the most iconic songs of all time. Yes. And they're probably going to take all the publishing, which they did. And, <laughs> right. And, yeah. and, and and that's okay because it's amazing and it works and it fits. And so we went with it. We got clearance well, it from, so from you the, have to get the band. The band. You have to get permission from <laughs> yeah. the, band. the band. We got the permission from the band and 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 it, it, it's just a wonderful song and it's everything we wanted it to be. Uh, but now they it are features. taking all the publishing. Oh, great. But well, well, they need the money. Song. Um, yeah. I'm like, as if you guys need it. Come on. Uh, number one album in the country, which is, is so ah, cool. Oh Congratulations. Hey, That's quickly, party. Be- be- before you. we let you go, what do we need to know about the new place? Yes. The new Nova Digs. Anything we um, need to be warned of? I've heard about the mouse plague. Oh yes, there's there's a plague in in that <laughs> Melbourne office. Yeah, there is. They they just they're running rampant around there. Yeah, but I'm I yet think... to see a rodent, but when I do, everyone will know about it. Yeah, yep, just jump up on a chair. Rats. Um, you're not allowed to hang things on the walls there. Joel has told me. Oh. Yep. Um, no drinking in the studios. My most no Mondays drinking. off. Oh. I know. No drinking in the studio. Well, you wouldn't be drinking in the studios. At, you know. At not 6 now. Am, would you? Mm. No. No, uh, no dogs. <laughs> Definitely not. No dogs. No dogs. That's really got me. I've got oh, a yeah. sausage dog. He's so low to the ground that people just think it's part of the the plague, the little rat plague. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, no, no. Give him a mouse outfit. Give him a mouse outfit. Joel's got a got a chow chow girlfriend, and maybe I wonder if maybe that's the reason there's no dogs allowed because because uh, girlfriend used to everyone. come in all the time. Maybe, Is the maybe chow chow really... named girlfriend? Yes, girlfriend, boyfriend, <laughs> Creasy. Oh, oh my gosh. How good. <laughs> Number I'm one so album so in the country, excited. Queen Thank of you. Nova, Ricky Lee, joining us. On the year. Good to see ya. Good to see you, you doll. too. And so good to have you on the Nova family. Thank you. Yay. Fred again. What about I'm that? Sorry, you went to Fred again. It's a bit hectic at eight o'clock in the morning, it's isn't so it? So hectic. But the other night when I was at Rod Laver Arena, it was not hectic at all. I was so like tell us about the, the crowd. What was the crowd like? Okay. And did you fit in? What what were you wearing? Well, oh my gosh, I texted the my, matinee or was it the night? I texted my best friend Gemma and I said, "What does a middle-aged woman wear to Fred again, please?" <laughs> Uh, and she said, I'm Country having road. the same dilemma. <laughs> dilemma. I, I was dressed like head to toe in a little black miniskirt, black T-shirt, little black um, kind of bomber jacket. Very thing. different to the Tay-Tay outfit. Very different. Uh, my friend Gemma turned up like she was having a midlife crisis, to be honest. She was in like a sparkly thing with like a, oh, a so you match. T-shirt dress. And she was like going back to her days in the club. Um, anyway, we're so cool that, that we went with the crowd. We... We were in a corporate box drinking mm. Chardonnay. They well, do corporate boxes. Well, the kids were down the front having the time of their lives. Because well, it was like just a, a bo- club, it was a cor- right? It was just a box. It was like a giant nightclub. It was actually yeah. so fun. Did you feel old? I feel old when I get out of bed in the morning. <laughs> so yeah, I, I felt old at Fred again. So tell tell us about Fred again. Give us a bit of a background. Well, do you remember Fred again? He's very clever. He's actually got a great voice. He DJs. He what plays the piano. EDM. What's that? 
electronic dance music. Clint. Were you at Revs the other morning when he nine just popped nine. up there at nine, nine o'clock in your active wear? I haven't been to Revs for about ten years, <laughs> yeah, right. but he had that song um, during lockdown. I can't remember what it was. <laughs> Big no, fan, goes, huge fan. Goes, We've yeah, lost dancing. It? Hang on the We've thumb. We've lost dancing. Yeah. Isn't that what it's called? We've lost dancing. And it was about how we were all locked down and we couldn't go out. And that's when he sort of became famous. Am I right? Yeah. So that's kind of when he rose to popularity, kind of pre-COVID. But he's had a real uh, glow up in the last 12 months. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 32. <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay, so I am old. <laughs> I was going to say, why are you teasing him for being old? Yeah, no, no, no. No, much younger than me. He's half your age. Anyway, Fred again was great. Did you stay for the entire show or did you go home early to beat the traffic? <laughs> Funny you say that because I did, I did book a car on standby in case I wanted to leave early, but I stayed till the end and then regretted it as I was like trying to get out of there with all the kids. It was so fun. I felt young again. Let, let a gal live. What were you doing on Wednesday night, Jace? Watching Gogglebox, yeah. living my best life. In a recliner. And I loved it. Did you have your, your weighted blanket on you? <laughs> and your foot in the massage spa yep. thing that you've got? Yep, mobile phone charging in the <laughs> USB slot in the armrest. Uh, hey. Oh, we can't all be young and cool like me, all right? Give me a break. What happened last night, Clint, with your... Not m- talking. Mighty Ds. Not talking. No, it mm. seems to run amongst the team. Um, Jeez, that was... That's I went to bed on the, the third end. quarter. And I, I can't was... believe you even contemplated watching football last night. Are you proud of me? Like, No, fo- I'm not saying it because it was a football. I'm saying because I was trying to go to sleep at like 7.30 last oh, night no. in preparation for waking up this morning. I was too excited for first day of school. I know. I, ro- I, I reckon I clocked about two hours sleep last night. But um, first quarter, I was like, oh, God, guys. <laughs> what happened? I just had a flashback. Oh, no. What have you no. done? Oh, no. What? I was at the SCG. In a lovely function, and a plate of sausage rolls came around, oh, and they yeah. were sort of gourmet type sausage rolls. No, yeah. they're gonna be standing, they're gonna, gonna standing be next standard. to me was Julie Goodwin. Oh, from Master I took a sausage Chef. roll and I said, "How do you rate the sausage rolls, Julie?" Great chat, Clint. <laughs> oh no, what did she say? Jesus, what did she say to you? Oh, she she, she ran she ran a mile. Yep. What an idiot! Did you ask her to sign your cookbook. How do you rate the sausage rolls, Julie? What a wanker. <laughs> Sorry, Julie, had to deal with that. Oh, Clint. Clinty, Clinty. Good chat from but you. But footy's back. It's exciting that footy's back, but not in it's... Melbourne this weekend. Are we in no, round so zero? Well, because the NRL went to Vegas, yeah. uh, they shifted the matches to Sydney and Brizzy. Right. I don't, so... still don't understand why they did that. Rugby no? league heart, man. My mm. pies. Will we go back to back? Premierships? You tell me, Jace. When was the last time, as Collingwood's number one fan, that Collingwood went back to back? Many, many years ago, Lauren. <laughs> but today's not about Collingwood stats. <laughs> it's about <laughs> first show. Um, oh, hey, coming gosh, up it's next. So nice to be back together, isn't it? It really is. And thank you so much to everyone who's uh, come over to Nova as well. The, the calls that are coming through this morning have not stopped. I know it's been so nice. Let's go to Kim in Forest Hill. Morning, Kim. Good morning, Lauren. So glad to have you back. Thanks, Kimmy. Oh, it's nice to be, nice it's to be employed great again. to be first day back. Thank you. What, we, have, what have you been doing for the last few months? I've had to listen to CDs, so I've been rotating my CDs. CDs? <laughs> in, your, in your disc man? Half our producing team just looked at me and went, CDs? What, what are they? CD? Did you have it in your portable <laughs> no, disc man? <laughs> no, no, I don't have one of those. Right. CD player in the car or at home? In the car, in the car. Oh, is oh, so it the six stacker? In the you, boot. You got the six stacker <laughs> and the subby in the boot? <laughs> time I had one of those, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, well, thanks for listening, Kim. It's nice to be back. Clint would have been one of those people cruising around with, I bet. I bet what? you took the face of your stereo off and put it in like a little a sunglasses case and take it with you every time so you they, park. So it didn't did, get stolen. Yeah, yeah, yeah I put the club lock on as well. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, the club lock, the giant piece of alfoil to reflect oh, the, the sun. I had the alfoil, yeah. Did you? Did you have the alfoil? Took an hour and a half to park. Oh, my oh, no, gosh. They, had the sun, they were shaped like sunglasses. <laughs> That's the right. They were that too. <laughs> All right. Uh, 13, 24, 10 to join us on the air. Tina in Abbotsford, good morning. Morning. How are you? We're Employed. good, Tina. What's happening with you? Oh, my God. I'm so glad that you guys are back. I seriously oh. was gutted when you guys were told that news. And Thank you. I cried with all of you and Aww. loved when you started to speak about, you know, thanking everyone and, and I went, oh, my God, I lost it. And, yeah, you guys are amazing. So, anyway, I ended up, I removed kiss from my car, my phone, all of my presets. I'm done. I'm out. And Tina. Oh, you've, you've had a hard breakup. Waiting, waiting, waiting. 
Yeah, that's a, that's a hard breakup. You've gone one. through the breakup. Hey, day one of our brand new show here at Nova. Uh, during that song, Clint, Lauren is learning all the new buttons. Yeah, it's Go the first on. time I've had a little panel with my own buttons. I that's just, danger. There's one that says P- well, don't. A- P-A-A-L-L. And I was like, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out it's. P-A-all, P-A-all, and I've just uh, done a shout-out to the whole entire office. By Paul, accident. are you there? Paul, what do you do? <laughs> I shouldn't be trusted with the buttons. Anyway, good Honestly. to be here. Um, so before we started, uh, we've had a couple of months off. We thought we should well, take a Well, little... you guys have, anyway. Yeah, well, you yeah. don't sleep. You're um, allergic to sleep. We were like, let's, uh, let's have a little getaway before yeah. we get into this new job because we know we're going to be fully committed. That's it. We both took a week just to kind of unwind and relax before we got into it. Jace went to Fiji. If you are listening earlier, you would have heard that he packed up the whole... The whole family took the kids out of school, went to Fiji for a week, got there, decided it was too hot, made them repack, rebooked their flights and came home. Should have put it on the pamphlet. <laughs> it was too it's very hot. Hot. I went on a girl's trip, went to LA. I got a points flight last minute Sorry. to LA. Have you had a midlife crisis in the break? Why? You went to Fred again and then you did a girl's trip to LA. Oh, I know. There is something good for the soul about going so on a girl's trip, though. How many? How many gals? Uh, four girls. Oh, okay. So we went on a girls' trip. We'd had we'd had a few very late nights, like what do girls do? We went for lunch, went shopping, went for big dinners, went to bars, pretended we were far cooler than we Did were. You go to that <gasps> nightclub? Guess Did you go who that I nightclub? bumped into? You said you saw someone famous. Who was it? Guess we'll Morgan be here Freeman. All day. Cooler. Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman. What a rogue guess. I love Morgan Freeman. Guys, um, Travis Kelsey, Leonardo DiCaprio. My next what? guess. Where? At the bar at the Sunset Tower. Oh, you're far too old for him. <laughs> I know, right? By like 30 years. Did you get a photo? Years. No. Oh, right? didn't I'm not happen. a nuffy, but you know what we didn't did? Happen. Do you know how many times I just happened to walk past? So when it was he, was he like, oh, I need all the details. He's kind of short, had a baseball cap on. Standing, sitting, eating, First of drinks, all, tappers. Unsurprising to anyone. I was actually, this hot chick was walking towards me and I was like, whew. She's a very LA hottie. Yeah. Hotties and oddie. Um, and I was looking at her, and as she walked past, I was like, I wonder what dude she's with. Bingo. Yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio basically. How old did she look? Um, like twenty four. Isn't yeah, that what right. he goes for? Yeah. Twenty four. Mm. And was he like eating, drinking? No, what he was, was walking past. That was it. He was well, he was eating and then he was walking past. This is a terrible story. He was just walking past to go to the bathroom and then walk back again. You're right. It is a shocking story. Anyway, that's cool. <laughs> when you're in LA, you want to see someone cool, right? And that's like the- Did you tell him we're doing the Titanic exhibition in <laughs> Melbourne at the moment? But like oh, Leonardo yeah. DiCaprio he was the guy that. that when I was younger, this is so embarrassing. I can't actually believe I'm saying this out loud. I made a Leonardo DiCaprio mobile. And I'm so I had what, a, like a baby's mobile. Yeah, I had a coat hanger that I hung from the roof, and I Above had your bed. pieces of string hanging down with pictures of him that I'd cut into love. You should have told him this; he would have loved it. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's really weird. Leonardo DiCaprio is my wife's celebrity crush, and then whenever I call pass, yeah, but then whenever Leonardo DiCaprio comes up in conversation, my wife will also say, oh, "I remember when we travelled around the world and we went to Japan. They all recognised my brother and thought he looked like Leonardo DiCaprio." Mm. Oh, that's weird. That's what, yeah, that's just, what I thought. Strange. That's weird. That's so she's got the hots brother. for her brother. Yeah. No, that's not okay. Mm. And a mobile is <laughs> <laughs> just hanging above the bed. <laughs> she's going to be a warm weekend for this man. He is the king of Moomba. He's rocking the beard and looking the goods. Peter Hellier. Thank you very much, and, and welcome back. Jason Lauren, on air. great to have you back. It's, it's, you. it's good. No, it's great. It's genuinely great to have you back. It was great news when it came through a little while back that uh, you were picked up uh, by Thanks, Nova mate. and and well deserved. So well done. Thank, Thank you. Very you. Much. We're so excited to be back. Actually, it's it's been a <laughs> it's been a really nice morning, hasn't it? We we're just trading war stories off the air. Yeah, we've, we've, we've both we, been we've both been replaced by Kyle and Jackie O over yeah. the years. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> Yours was... I mean, admit, I've got to say, admittedly, when I was replaced by them, cause you, you made a good point. It is a business. We, un- we, yeah. do, we do understand that. Uh, and when I was replaced, uh, myself and Judith Lucy up in Sydney, uh, we were replaced by Colin Jackie O. And you've got to go, well, they've kicked on, Colin and Jackie O. Yeah. They've oh, kicked gosh. on. But from yeah. a business point of view, I tip your hat, we went to afternoons. Oh, we yeah. thought, okay, we'll do an yeah, afternoon right. show. And then after about six months, we got replaced by... Two blokes called Hamish and Andy. I thought, okay, I'll tip your hat again. (laughs) (laughs) So sometimes they get the business decision right, but it's great to have you guys uh, on air and and Melbourne loves you. At least you're replaced by a show that was in the same city. (laughs) That's a bit bit stung a little. Um, Now you've rolled in with your crown on. Talk me through the crown jewels because they look like pom-poms to me. Oh, no. 
Lauren, please. please. Um, and real emeralds. They are real emeralds. This is worth uh, $3.4 <laughs> billion. Do you design your own, Pete? Uh, no, no, Clint. Um, uh, this is uh, done by uh, Rachel Henry uh, Millinery. Uh, okay. Fantastic. Uh, I always get my hats uh, designed there. Is this um, like the Oscars where you have a security <laughs> guard travel with you? You know, yeah. like when they wear expensive jewellery. and There are six dudes in tuxedos yes. just outside the studio, all in sunglasses and with earpieces. Um, <laughs> this is a... Each, everybody gets their own crown. So this is not just handed oh, down. Yeah, I, I remember, was going to ask about that. because no, Hitchy's been... still got his. Oh, yeah. to keep yeah. it, He's on he? display at Channel 9. Yeah. In a glass, no, it's not. In a oh, glass I thought case. you meant Hitchy's no. in a glass <laughs> cage at Channel 9. <laughs> you mean the yet. hat. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Hitch, if you're listening, we love you. Yeah. And, and he's, of course, part of the, the Moomba legacy. And, and um, well, but you... I've got this beautiful black and white trim. So they, they try to personalise it. Oh, I see. Because there has been many, many famous, famous kings before you. Warney oh, was a king. Brocky, Farnsey, yeah. Bert a couple of times. Bert Paddy. a couple of times. Uh, so they do customise them for you. Yes. Yeah. So they gave it. The Collingwood trim is, is, is uh, for me, and hopefully it's a good omen. Pete. The pies go back to back last night. Is it our year? It is, it is, it is. I said back to back last night. They didn't play last night. I was looking at Clint, Clint wondering why he's been reasonably quiet this morning, but uh, yeah. I'll put two and two together. He's still doing a lap of honour <laughs> after last year, right? Yeah, you get it to do is. it for the whole year, don't you? It feels like the celebrations have gone on, and it, it's not our time to get back to work. We had, uh, we had Mason Cox rock up after Mad Monday. Um, still with the medal on. Remember yes. that? And he came in and uh, and passed out on the studio floor. <laughs> mm. Do you think that could be you after Moomba? <laughs> well, 38 degrees. I mean, they got one of the pastier Moomba monarchs uh, going in. There's three days of 38 degrees. What are you talking about the heat, mate? Oh, I'm going to have to. I've never gone the umbrella, you know, as, as oh, a, yeah. a subject, you know what, but you I think need? I'm going to have to. I saw tourists wearing these over the Christmas break. It's a fan. That you can hang around your neck and it oh comes up. It's gosh. like you twist a coat oh, hanger strong. and then yeah. it holds a fan. Peter, nice. I need one of those. This is coming from Jace, who went, packed don't, his kids don't, up, don't. out of school at time, during school time, sorry, took them to Fiji, took a week off before we started, took them to Fiji yeah. for a holiday. Let's go to Fiji. Got there, decided it was too hot for him, so he packed the kids back up and came back from his <laughs> holiday. How hot was it? And sat in his house instead. It was, <laughs> it was 95% humidity. I couldn't get the air con lower than 26. <laughs> it just couldn't keep up. But then don't you just go to the pool bath? Isn't that what a normal yes. human Yeah, but there are ways to like cool a, down. No, but it felt like a bath. And you know what happened? I put my head under the water <laughs> near the pool bar, and because I'm pissed in the water, I've had an ear infection oh, yeah. all week. That happens. That happens. Yeah. The pool, that's what pool bars are. Basically, you're gonna go. Oh, this! How good's this? You can drink at the. You can drink. We have to get out, and you realise. Oh yeah, we're drinking, and nobody's getting out. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, it's a piss pond, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it really pond. is it's a piss pond. Oh, um, hey, when's the parade? When can people see you? Parade is on Monday. So. Monday is the big parade. Uh, get down there, and uh, it's it's a great celebration. It's, it's Australia's it's cool. biggest free community festival. It is great. Um, I was down there yesterday at, 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 by the river, and all the food trucks are there, the rides are there. Uh, there's concerts. Uh, we've got the Birdman Rally on Sunday. Emma Mamma is taking part. I was in the Yarra last night, clearing out the O bikes and the trolleys. Great, uh, we should be safe. <laughs> Clint, uh, didn't you do yes, that? Yes, he did. Birdman, I did. I did Birdman. How'd yes. you go? Uh, all my fingers and toes have uh, have stayed on. How can you? <laughs> After being in that horrible water. How can you go in the Yarra and be fine and I go to Fiji for four days and come back with a full-blown ear infection from the piss pond? <laughs> Honestly. Um, hey, Pete, congratulations on taking out the crown Thank this you. year. And, um, <laughs> and thanks for coming in, mate. Mate. Great to have you guys back. And um, the first of I love you you're saying on a Friday you get the public holiday on the yeah, Monday. Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? Beautifully played, by the way. Beautifully played. Pretty, oh, what's that? Oh, it's Easter holidays on the horizon. <laughs> <laughs> that is our queen pink there. She will be well, she's, back. She's already been in Melbourne. She's I know, she's coming back. Come popped back off more. on her tour and she's, well, as we know, guys. pink holds the record. Wow. And what's she got? A column. Oh. She's got a pink column because she had 13 shows. We're not going there again. No, We're not 18. going there again. 18, 18 yeah, shows. Because door 18 at Rod Laver Arena is also painted pink. No. Yeah, they weren't yeah. a bit happy with it. And in Adelaide, yeah. they painted they the women's toilets paint. pink for her. <laughs> that's, so, that's just so embarrassing. Give her a statue, not a dunny. Come on. That's pathetic. <laughs> We're not doing this again. No, I'm sure I've got better things to do. Hey, uh, wrapping up our first show, <laughs> um, someone who has been listening. Since 6 a.m. this morning, Don't. in his tuxedo, making notes. Everyone in radio uh, knows the term an air check. And God, they're fun. Um, yeah. <laughs> but uh, as an air check is where the boss sits you down and tells you what they hated about the show. Uh, Bobby Phillips has been doing that. Your dad who My joins us dad. on the air. Bobby, welcome to Nova. 
Well, yeah, well, that's fantastic. Good morning, Jay, Lauren and Clint. It's, um, it's great to be on Nova. It's great to have you back. I've done my homework. It's Nova 100. There's no dot three. Is that correct? <laughs> yes, it's yes. just no 100, not Nova 100 dot three. But Dad yeah, thought Lauren. his radio was broken because he said he gets a better signal on 100.3. <laughs> right, gotcha. <laughs> And when I ring in for the competitions that I'm not allowed to ring, I've got to ring 13, 24, 10. Would that be right? Oh, my God. So how does your dad know the number, but you don't? I did that for Lauren's benefit. And I want to talk about <laughs> Lauren's driving history. Okay. So, so this morning, Jace yeah. threw me under the bus by telling the whole world that on my first day, I drove my four-wheel drive into the car park here at our new office at Nova, and I hit the roof and yeah. got stuck. Great. What about the new car that your mother and I bought for your 18th birthday? How long did you drive oh, that for? Must be nice. God, what, all I got was a car. A, was it Bobby? Hang on, all I got was a wooden key with everyone's signature. So you got a <laughs> bloody new car. It was Jesus. a little black Corolla, and, it, and I'll give you oh. Lauren's driving history. She had the car for two weeks, and the car was history. Yes, <laughs> yes, it was. What'd you do? It wasn't good. I, did, anyway, I turned into oncoming traffic to tell the truth, but I blamed <laughs> I blamed the person that hit me for saying they were looking at their phone. <laughs> They well, were, I think. For you, Lauren. Um, our mate Trevor from Barnes Panel Works, he's going to repair both of your cars and he's going to give you an e-scooter for the time being. <laughs> Might take six months to repair them, so we're just wondering how you're going to go on an e-scooter. You'll be okay? It's good gear from you, no, Bobby. Thanks, on public Dad. transport. It's good gear. Yeah, get me a, what are they called? A Mikey. Mikey. Yeah. yeah. What are they called? <laughs> 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 Oh. A Mikey. God, I love a that Mikey. new show. It's so relatable. Uh, Bobby, any other notes you've got on the show? I've got a few things, but I just want to say that it's wonderful to have your listeners following you from one station to the other. I think they've been genuine. I've loved listening to them. It's been marvellous. Um, I'm really happy you had Ricky Lee on as a male. I'm not not unhappy with her being on. She's not hard to look at, so that's really... Dad! <laughs> Dad! I don't know if you could say that in you 2024 there, uh, Bobby. Dad, see, oh. I told you we shouldn't have done this last. Got cancelled first show. Wouldn't have, wouldn't have it's International it. Women's Day, so I'm being nice to all the lovely women, including you. Good on you, Bobby. Good on you, Bobby. <laughs> Do you want me to... Back, and I want to congratulate Clint. Very brave turning up after Melbourne's poor performance. Oh, time. yes. What happened in the fourth quarter, Bobby? Were you watching? Absolutely. I was I was watching and I was thinking about Clint, actually. I thought, oh, he's got to front up tomorrow morning. No, you were thinking of your multi, Bobby. (laughs) (laughs) Good luck for everybody. We're not not going to worry about the past. You know the old saying, if you look back, you're going to get a stiff neck. So you've got to look forward from now on, right? Oh, Oh. thanks, Dad. Well said, Bobby Well, he's never coming back again. No, he is. He's lovely. debut and retirement all in one. We love him. Lauren's dad, Bobby (laughs) Don't. I know what you're going to do. You're going to ring. Big, yeah, he's getting no, a phone call after this. No. Yeah, he is. You'll ring and rip him a new one. Don't do that. Hey, guys. He won't answer. He's too smart. We bloody did it. <laughs> well done, you two. Is it and over? You, that's, is it over? The show's Jesus over. Christ, what any, time is it? Do you have any idea what's I going on? I don't know where anything is in here. So I finally found the clock. It's, it's nine past nine. I know. We're well early. Done. Hey, uh, nine minutes late. Mel is in next. Um, guys, we're exhausted. We're going to take a three-day weekend. <laughs> uh, but thank you to everybody who listened this morning. All jokes aside, yeah. we are... Seriously humbled by how nice everyone's been, how kind everyone's been, and that's it's been very within emotional. the Nova business, but in the wider community. Last, Thank you, you so much. A good week, Clint. <laughs> They'll be sick um, of us by next week. Jason Lauren. Jason Lauren. Wake up feeling good. Follow them on socials. Nova One Hundred.